Unruly Heroes, a game I picked up on Steam just because of how it looked. Before we get to reviews, we're going to check out some gameplay. Now we're gonna learn. Oh, this looks this looks like some trine. Uh, it's an action, but it's more action yeah. game, I think. Puzzle. Heroes, beware! Though you're fit to keep the world from endless night, you're kind of gonna gotcha. blow through this. I'm gonna beat up bad yeah, guys okay. to save the world. Right. Uh, fight the darkness. Yeah, it is Journey to the West. Okay. Time to do some uh, log jamming. Log. <sighs> Luckily, at least one of us. Does none of us have an axe? I feel like one of us should have an axe, just from the the crew. You're right. This ain't lost Vikings after all. Yeah. Bulk's really good. Oh, everybody oh, can pick up. everybody up. Okay. It's just B. Pick it up. I guess you can throw friends and foes. Oh, cool. <laughs> ah, shit. Whee! Well, platform <laughs> killed me. Oh shit, me too. Careful, I guys. guess nice. I guess we're dead until think, you get to a checkpoint. Uh, this is like I think you have to hit our bubble like a. Uh, oh, was it like Mario? Mario's? We yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> is it like the Mario's? The Mario. Yeah, Mario's? you're right. You gotta pop the bubs. Oh god! Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see. Jump up Rush. and then butt stomp. I see. Yoshi. <laughs> Oh, 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 o
unmarried sex? Only in the water at night. Oh. We did a lot better that time. It went somewhat faster. It was still um, too much. Baby. Someone okay, do not walk at the spikes. <laughs> so <laughs> don't walk towards them. You're facing oh, them, but don't walk towards it. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, feel. And then pop us after this. Uh, yeah, I guess it's not. It's not chasing me anymore, huh? Uh, it's no coming. Uh, huh. <laughs> Y'all good? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just dying. Dead. Oh, there's just more health pickups. <laughs> oh, I... I oh, came back pig. as a pig. As a pig! Huh. Oh, how'd that happen? We don't... you can't float with, uh... A there. No. There is a... Double jump? Oh, double jump. I mean, right. Oh, yeah, I, can... I was able to switch between characters. How'd you do that? Like, left trigger, left bumper? I think you're right. gonna run out of gas here, Pigman. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that balloon thing is. Heavy attack. What about these guys? Yeah, now, can we fight these as many are showing bosses? indications that you can use the triggers. Uh, I guess you don't need... Release the platform. Oh, yeah. Well, I feel like you need them yet, though. Oh, okay, they come. Pretty Dark souls -y. <laughs> I'd say this is like Dark Souls for sure. I'm getting real Ratchet and Clank ratchet. vibes. I guess that's what I'm saying is it should, <laughs> it should be going from Ratchet. Like comedic? Off the deck. Maybe it's it's more like Hollow Knight. Yeah. I'm gonna pick up bad guys and throw them into the saw. This is like Mortal yeah. Kombat. This is definitely the Dark Souls of cooperative platforming games. Yeah. <laughs> this is pretty Dark Soulsy here. They they really nailed this one. Yeah. Oh, I can I can uh, spit stinky. Yeah. Stinky no air. Guy. Why don't you Damn. like the pig? He's cool. I know. I've turned around on him now that I played the other character. Got yeah, good attacks, and I like his platforming. Like they'll have the the, really the float cool. thing is really nice. He just moves around so damn slow. It makes it tough. Oh. Wow. Well, let's go under. Uh, oh, oh no, the monkey statue! What, there's one the over here? Statue. And the end. Yeah, the breaking arrows yeah. or whatever. Oh, this is oh. breakable or. No. Oh, there's a switch. Uh, uh... Who is brave enough? Surely our heroes can defeat this. Alright, monkey again. All about the monkey. True, what is the what does the red haired guy do? He doesn't have, he I think he's nothing. just strong. Just owns it. It's yeah, I'm liking this level more than the last one, definitely. Impossibly strong. Troll. Yeah, and listen. Ghosts. Jeez, oh, oh, that was very <laughs> unfortunate. And I got scared. Oh god, that that brick just fell on you. Blink of an eye, hey, man. Let us do that. You can have your life snuffed out just oh, like that. Oh, man. oh, there's oh, the bombs. bombs. They got bombs. Oh, they got bombs. Ah, a bunch of oops. Ah uh, yes, I have a special. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Died. Oh, shit. <laughs> now my special's gone. Yes. BBB. Good job, team. Wow, oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> so he started to fast forward it. 
<laughs> cool. Wow, cool Dragon Ball Z stuff. Oh, into the stink pit. Alright, so this week we played Unruly Heroes for Steam, the four-player co-op action platformer. Um, and, you know, to give us our thoughts, we're going to turn over to Mega Man Man. Uh, thanks, thanks, Filter. Uh, I had I had a pretty good time with this game. It was uh, very aesthetically pleasing, I thought. You know, the animations were really nice. Uh, you know, the opening sequence takes about five or ten minutes or so to really get through the store uh it's 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 a pretty fun game uh really it's had some decent gameplay mechanics pretty basic uh platformer you know jump attack heavy attack down attack long range attack and some cool some cool little special character uh you know special moves there like the pig turning into a blimp and monkey man staff growing pretty big that was pretty cool uh definitely a little bit of labor of love into it uh it's good enough to kind of play a few times you can have some fun with it i wouldn't wouldn't pick this up as a serious thing or you know spend hours and hours perfecting the craft of unruly heroes uh i don't really remember what the music sounded like i can't i can't judge that but i, <laughs> I did have enough fun Playing the game and getting my my butt kicked uh, by Ghostface Ghostface people a lot. But yeah, uh, let's see. Dime is Dime here? Dime on time? Um, I, I have less nice things to say about it. Uh, this this game was a miss for me. Um, I don't know what can I say. It looked so good, like. Like everything, all the flavor was great. I liked the personality that the art and animation brought to the table, but all of that seemed to go out the window for me as far as gameplay went. Um, everything felt kind of, I don't know, there, there was no feeling to any of the actions being done. I felt, I felt disconnected. It felt kind of like I was dissociating. Like, like when I was punching something, it didn't really feel like I was punching it. I was just watching myself punch something, jumping around and floating around, felt disconnected. Um, it was really hard to follow the screen, uh, especially with four players. It looks like a game that should be specialized, like optimized with four players. And it seems like it was sort of more of a hindrance than, than, uh, than it helped out. Um, you've got four players playing these unique characters jumping around, but I feel like it would have handled way better if it was just one person switching through the four characters available. Um, people got lost pretty easily, and I don't know, one per everyone outpaced one another at different moments. Um, I don't know, it looked really nice. I wanted to like it a lot more than I did, but, uh, it just just didn't quite hit um i don't know i hope you have something nicer to say about it filter all right yeah um honestly i share a lot of the same sentiment i would still play it again though um i i just feel like the graphics made me want to look at it some more and i want to play it at a higher resolution than i could hosting it on parsec but i do agree um and this is a core problem a lot of co-op platformers have. It's just generally harder to progress if you have more people playing them. And I haven't really seen a game do it well. Um, it's almost the antithesis of like what a platforming game wants you to do, really, is to wait for your partner uh, or partners to catch up and to do a puzzle. And then you've got to do all these jumps. The uh, controls themselves, way too delayed and floaty to suit the kind of demanding platforming it was putting at you. And yeah, the same kind of thing with the combat. Um, very combo-centric, like you gotta do a lot of hits to kill any enemy, they're all pretty spongy, um, and kind of lacked the impact I would want to see for all the flair and cool moves it gave you. Like it really did try to make, give you some creativity in your move sets. Um, you had a lot of special moves, but it just, was lacking something in the punch um, there. 
but yeah, still like overall i i would play it again i would recommend somebody trying it i wouldn't pay too much money for it maybe a dollar um or if it's in a bundle at least try it uh the character design's really good visuals are good um and it doesn't play terribly it just doesn't satisfy in the way that i would want for something i would put a lot of time into um but yeah so i would give it three garfields out of five just kind of like a mildly amused garfield you know since did you did you enjoy this one what would you say well filter i'm glad you asked i i, I believe we share a lot of the same opinions on this game i have to say the art style and the animation is incredibly well done. They put so much time into this. What they didn't stick is the actual game. It's frankly, I had no idea what I was looking at most of the time. A bunch of really pretty looking things just in soup, just laid amongst one another, oral, uh, like aura looking greens and blues which are your character that's died and a health pickup and an enemy's um, attack all mixing together in this sort of incomprehensible, pretty um, blur. I also do agree that this hasn't really been nailed in the multiplayer sense. I love to play these kind of games by myself. I definitely don't like to try to keep pace or slow down with others in a group. It just doesn't work, uh, at least not in this instance. I'm a cranky Garfield on this one, but I would say rent again because there's some cool stuff going on. Maybe it's fun to play by yourself. There, There's like some neat little mechanics that each different um, unruly hero has. That maybe if you were playing by yourself and you were quick swapping to each one, you could sort of get into the really scant puzzles that are in the game and, you know, run at a pace that makes more sense. But yeah, I'd say rent, but don't get all your buddies together to play this. You're not going to have that much fun. All right. This time on Weekend Rental, we tried Unruly Heroes, a game I picked up on Steam just because of how it looked. Before we get to reviews, we're going to check out some gameplay. <laughs> 